Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal and Mindless Crafting, and we're going to be making these adorable Christmas gift tags. So let's get started. So for some reason, I'm really addicted to green right now. And so I've just randomly pulled out some of the papers I had in my stash that had anything close to green, different shades of green. Some of them are scraps also that I've used in previous videos. And so I thought, let me go ahead and use some of these. So let's do this first one. I'll show you how I'm going to make my tag. I usually use my own packaging so I can recycle. So I've got a couple of these. So this is going to be really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and show you for those of you that are tuning in to, for the first time. All I do is I take my packaging, and this I think might be a cereal box, oatmeal box, and I just cover it with the pretty paper. So many of you have seen me do this before, but for those of you that have not seen me do this, I just wanted to make sure I keep that step in my video. Okay, so I'm just coming as close to the side here. And it's got that white side, so that side you could either cover both sides or you can leave one side um, decorative. So it's up to you. And these also look pretty on your Christmas tree if you decide to do that. So all I do is stick it on here and then I cut away. And the patterns are just so cute. So look at that. So that's what you have now. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do a bunch of these, and then we'll get to decorating. Okay, so now that we have them all covered, look how adorable that looks. The transformation has already begun. And what I did was I cut out some of these trees, little Christmas trees, um, using the uh, Season's Greeting stamp set. So that's it right there. So I just stamped out a bunch of those on patterned paper. So I've really been enjoying doing that and I just fussy cut them out. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of line these up just a little bit here, just to see. See what I want on here. Maybe put that one there. That way you can see what it looks like before you glue them down. And I'm gonna add some dimension to it as well. Do that one there. Okay, so I'm going to add some gems to these as well. But before I do that, I'm going to punch my hole in this. Okay, so let's go ahead and punch a hole in the top before we start that part. And these are fun to do. Um, you just have to not think about it. Just grab whatever papers you have. I mean, you don't have to do this for like the holiday season. You can do this for um, birthday tags. You can take the tags that you decorate and add them to cards. But I'm going to be putting some bells on these because I really want them to look uh, for really good for Christmas. Okay, so that's what we have. All right, and so now we can start the process of gluing these on. So all I'm doing, I want to add some dimension to these so that they really, really pop. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of the mounting tape on here. Well, let's take this off. Okay, and this could go really quick, all right? Now, just before I start decorating the other ones, let me show you what you could do if you want to add a little bit more color. You can distress the edges. So you can have like a little assembly line and just kind of go through the process, distress the edges, and then do some other things with it. Add your other things in. Just go right down the line. You can make a bunch of these. I like sending these in Happy Mail as well. And you can also use those. When you send them to someone, they can use them on a card. Okay, so that's what we have so far. 
just to add a little bit of distress. Let's go ahead and do another one so you can see what it looks like. Just And I'm just using the red. Um, this is actually called, this is the Memento Ladybug. So sometimes those, just adding that little bit to your tags makes it pop. Just a little bit of red. And I don't have to do all of them. Just do the ones you want. If you really want to go in more, just keep layering it until you get the effect. Or you can just do the whole thing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these, a few of the, few more of these, and then we'll go back to decorating. Okay, so here's what we have. And I got an idea while I was doing this. And so I decided to add three trees to some of these rather than just do the one tree I had planned on doing. And look how cute that looks. So I just kind of mixed them up on this one. And then this one, look how that looks. Just put them right there on top of each other. And that looks super adorable. So one of the things you can do is you can start to kind of give them maybe something around the bottom to kind of break it up a little bit. And so I'm going to do like a little kind of snowbank thing right along here, something like that maybe. So this is just some ideas um, that you can do. I'm going to put one this way. And then I'll do another one going the other way. And of course, there would be a plane flying overhead while I'm doing this tutorial, but just got to keep moving. Okay, and so I'm just kind of doing a little ridgy thing here. Nothing fancy. <laughs> That's my snowbank, y'all. Just like that. Just like that. And it works, right? So super easy. And what I can do is I can take one of my gel pens and I can put some little, just a little bit of stitching right along the snowbank. And I'm just going to use this Dollar Tree gel pen and just go right along here like that. And I wanted to try these out to see how they work. Looks like they work pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all, actually. These gel pens came in a pack of four for a dollar. You couldn't beat that, so I wanted to see how they work. That's what we have. Yep, Dollar Tree. Okay, so we got that. And look at this one right here. This is cute. I'm going to take um, one of these little red gems. Just to add a tiny bit of red to it. Lots of planes flying overhead, maybe because it's Thanksgiving week and people are traveling. Look how cute that looks. And I could do a string of uh, gems right along here if I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few gems on here. And then we'll come back and start stringing these up. Okay, so we added in just a little bit of sparkle to it, right? Some gems and some pearls. And so these are, this is what I have when I add some of those on. So I have these in all kinds of colors. So these are perfect for the holidays. And so one of the other things you can do is you can take some of the strips of paper that you have, like leftover strips. Let's see. Let's take that. Something like this, right? See if that one's long enough. I got little strips, kind of make it real fun. See that? I can take that. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, and my glue is jammed here because I didn't put my pen in it. Okay, so you can take this and just do a little bit. Add a little strip of color to it. Okay, so right there. All right. Cut that off. 
So just adding just a tiny bit. If I want, I could come across the top here too. Just add a little bit there. That looks cute. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. See, I'm not thinking about it too much. If it looks good to me, I'm going with it. And it makes it look nice and fun. Just adding a little bit to this. Look at this polka dot. I don't want to use this because it looks so cute. Reminds me of snowballs almost. So let's go ahead and cut a little bit of this. And if you want to put in your paper trimmer, you can. I'm just going to do maybe something right there at the bottom. I think that just adds a little bit, a little touch of something to it, right? I'm going to put that right underneath there. Just like that. And then cut a little bit off. So you see just little strips. So you're just basically kind of working your way, working in sections here. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, I kind of like that. I'm liking that separation there. Let's see. And I still have my sentiment to add on here, too. There's so many little things you can do with it. You can add some stickles on there if you wanted to, just to enhance it. And I'll probably go back and add a few stickles in there. Look how cute that is. And let's go ahead and add some sentiments on too. So this is from that same Seasons Greetings um, stamp set from Mindless Crafting. And I've got Merry Christmas. And then some of them I just split up. You know, I just cut them apart. Stamp them out and cut them apart. So for this one, I'm probably going to put maybe something like that here. Maybe go along the bottom with this. Something like that. Fit it right in there, right? I could do that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do it. Use my tweezer to get in there. Right up in there, right? I'm just going to fit it right in between there. It's for Christmas. A little bit of time to move it around. When I use art glitter glue, I have a little bit of time to move it around. Okay, now I'm going to take this red gel pen and I'm just going to go right around the edge here. Just to add in a little bit of red. Just a little bit of red stitching. And I still haven't even added my, my bells on yet, which I'm going to do that soon. And if you hear the cars going by, I apologize. It's just that I have a window open right now because it's kind of hot in my craft room. Okay, so that's that Dollar Tree gel pen that I just used, and that just adds a little bit to it. And let's go ahead and put the rest of these on. So now you're going to add the rest of your stuff on here. How fun that looks. So now this one. You can break it up and place it at certain spots. I'm just going to put Mary on this one. How cute that is. How cute those are. Let's go ahead and cut this one down. Don't be afraid to cut some of your sentiments up and just use them. Put it right here. A little bit above that. Look how cute. All right, so look at that. We got five diff different um, tags. 
feel like this one needs just something right along the bottom there just to to add if I got a strip here I'm gonna go ahead and use this right around there oh yeah that's gonna look cute that'll add something to it this is where you have fun is putting in those little extra details that make it look unique okay see what else we have here I think I'm good with those for now but who knows what tomorrow may bring so now I'm going to take um, some Baker's twine and I am going to add on some bells because I think that will look super cute. These would look cute as ornaments on a tree. All you have to do is just cover both sides with some decorative paper. Or you can make this a tag, put to and from on the back, and put the year that you made it. That would be nice because now you have um, something that you sent to someone. You can sign your signature on the back. I think that will be a cute idea. So I'm going to show you how I string one of these through. First, I'm going to just string these up. And these little bells are from Dollar Tree. They have the little ones and some really larger uh, bells. But you can use these. These are, these are cute. The smaller ones, I think, will be cute for the smaller tags. Okay, and let me get my little tool here and push that through. Let's see if that works. Hopefully I won't have to get a needle and thread, right? I'm trying to do this without a needle and thread on it. So let's try this again. Might go through this time. I think so. All right, there we go. Just a little bit of patience here, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and String this through. I think I'm going to tie this first. And once I have it like that, I'm going to just tie this. Just to secure it a little bit more. Let's put this through here. Bringing both of these through. Okay, so I'm bringing both of these through, and I'm taking this now, and I'm looping it right through here, and then pulling it together. You see what I did there? Like that. So sometimes what I do is I just kind of fold it around here, just right around, and then I tie another knot to secure it. Just bring it up over the top of the bell, just like that. And now you've got that all secure on there. So cute little tags with the bells on it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them, and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so we are all done. And remember, when I started out, I had five of these. I'm going to show you what I did to two of them. I turned them into cards. But let's take a look at this. I put some stickles on here. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks so adorable with stickles on it. And look how cute it looks with those bells. And just using a little bit of jute twine, and this came from the Dollar Tree. And so this one as well, added some stickles to it. Look how adorable that looks. So just adding, and I use the Stardust stickles. I think those are my favorite. That one and the Diamond stickles. Look at that, that snowflake. Just adding a little bit of glitter to it really makes a big difference. So let me show you. That's still drying. So let me show you what the cards look like. Here's one of the cards I made. So just to give you an idea of what you can do with your tag, Start with a tag and then turn it into a card. And so I didn't add the bell to this one. And then all I did is just lined it with some of the matching paper on the inside. But look how cute that is. And here's the other one. 
Yep. Just some simple, simple ideas, taking the tag and turning them into a card. So I thought I'd show you that little step there. And look how cute. My snowbank looks so cute. And all I did was, off camera, I just went right around the bottom edge there. And I think it needs my snow. Look at my, at my snowbank. It needs some stickles. So I'm just going to add a little bit right along here. And I'm really liking the way that stitching looks on there. I'm just adding a little bit along here. And right along here. So there we go. And a thumbs up for those, the gel pens from the Dollar Tree. I mean, you can't beat that for a dollar. So I'm going to have fun playing with those. So I hope this gave you lots of ideas um, for creating. So each of these I can make cards out of easily. Just take some of the leftover paper that I have and just start putting them all together. So I hope this gave you some great ideas. Thanks for watching me. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And happy mindless crafting. Bye.